Hello, Cancer viewers. Usually I like to pull the cards out in front of you, but I had someone that was mowing the lawn outside and it was really loud, so I was pulling them as he was mowing and I just figured I'd make a new video. So this is what was laid out here. Um, so last video I did, I was getting that someone wants to message you. They're really thinking about reaching out, but they're really stuck in their head about it. They're really having a hard time struggling, trying to figure out what to say, what to do. There's sort of this awkward energy between you guys. I don't know if you're just miscommunicating or maybe you haven't talked in a while. Maybe you have talked, but it's just been kind of casual here and there. And they're really wanting to say more now, but they're just struggling how to do that. I feel like the way your person sees you right now is really mixed because see we have the seven of wands and um, the nine of wands here too and if you look at these two characters it's like look how defensive they look you know look, look how like kind of guarded and um, and just like sort of just defensive that they look sorry I'm trying to get this light balanced here okay that's better that's something at least um, so look at, look, see how they, see how defensive they look, like, see how defensive this character looks. You see that? And kind of what I'm getting here is I, I do get very similar energy to what I was getting last time. I think there might be some improvements though. I think that when they, I don't know if you guys just started talking again or if they're like about to message you or what the deal is, but I kind of see it as like they start out seeing you in the Seven of Wands energy. Like they start out feeling like you're defensive or guarded or closed off or like maybe you're with somebody else or you're just, you're not interested. Um, like you've moved on. Like they're kind of, it's weird that they don't understand how much you care about them, but I think maybe you didn't verbally express it as much as you think that you did. I think maybe you just kind of fantasized about them or you, you know, you've said I love you to them, uh, just whispering it to the atmosphere so many times that it's like you feel like they must have heard it. But I, I think that you haven't actually, I think that you guys are both kind of mirroring each other in that sense where you both kind of get in your head about each other, where it's like they think about things they want to say to you and you think about things that they you want to say to them. And you, you do it so often that I don't think you even realize that you've never actually verbally said these things. You know, it's like maybe you've, maybe they or maybe you have said, I love you to each other a hundred times in your head, but you've never actually physically said it. It's that kind of energy. And, and what I get here, I do feel like they are still overthinking. I don't know if they've messaged yet or they're still just on the fence about it. But I, what I get here is that they kind of think that you're going to be in the Seven of Wands energy where you're going to be defensive and guarded. And maybe not want to allow them back in. Maybe just too much time has gone by. And so they're not sure how you would react to them messaging you out of nowhere. They want to make sure they say and do the right thing. Um, but it's really mixed energy because they also see you as the high priestess and the queen of cups. And this could be male or female energy. It doesn't matter. You know, this this could be a male or a female. But the high priestess, you know, it's like kind of like I see it as like a motherly. Um, you know, we have the initial B and J there too. It, it could be like a motherly energy. It could be a nurturing energy. It could be, um, I see it as like, just like a romantic, open, wise energy. And, you know, Queen of Cups, I feel like is very similar energy. It's like she's vulnerable. She's open. She's emotional. She's um, in touch with herself. She's, it's just like a very feminine, but very strong energy here with the High Priestess and Queen of Cups. So... I almost feel like they either have come in or they're going to come in feeling like you're in the Seven of Wands energy, feeling like you're defensive and guarded, and then they're sort of going to start understanding that you're actually in this High Priestess, Queen of Cups energy where you're just, you know, you're you're not as open to them as you were before. You're, you're I mean, you're still, how do I explain that? It's like you're still very open to them, but you're, it's like this is like a strong energy. It's like she's feminine and she's, She's vulnerable and romantic and intuitive, but she's also very, very strong, very wise, you know, like a mother figure, like a leader type, like she knows who she is and what she deserves. So I think that maybe, maybe this person, maybe you were different last time you guys talked, maybe you were in like a different energy, like maybe you were more insecure or you didn't know who you were yet and you've kind of gone in this path where you're more confident now and you found yourself and maybe they don't know what to make of this energy when they come in. Maybe at first they're going to 
um, think that that confidence is just you being guarded and defensive and cold and angry with them. And then they're going to start realizing, no, it's actually just you being mindful of your space and your energy, you being more protective of your energy, you being more confident than you were in the past. You know, they're going to start understanding that, that you're not trying to shut them out, that you're just, you know, taking it more cautiously than you did in the past. Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles reversed. I think that's more fear on their end. The Nine of Pentacles upright, it's like reward after hard work. But, you know, being reversed, I think it's more like they're kind of afraid that they're going to put this effort in and it's not going to be reciprocated or it's not going to go anywhere. You know, they're, they're, they're kind of prideful and they're kind of afraid right now. So they're still, I don't know if they've messaged or not. They're still in their head. Like that's the same energy I got a couple weeks ago. I mean, it's like, it's different. It's a little bit of a different story, but, but it's the same story where I think they're still overthinking it. They're still trying to figure out whether to reach out. Um, I think Mercury retrograde that's coming up, that's going to make it more intense for them too, because exes typically do sometimes come back during Mercury retrograde like that you it's it's a very introspective kind of energy it's kind of that one of those energies where you kind of just get stuck in your head and you start thinking about the past getting nostalgic so they're they're probably if they keep fighting this and they keep being stubborn and, and not knowing what to say they they're probably going to get even sucked deeper into this energy during mercury retrograde and i don't even want to say it's like stubbornness because i don't feel like i don't feel a resistance to you from them it almost feels like more of an awkwardness, like they're kind of, they're just kind of afraid, maybe they know they messed up, and they're just not sure what to say, so they're really overthinking this message, and and like I said, I think one of the problems that you guys have is that you mirror each other, this could be a twin flame relationship with the mirroring, because I feel like you guys both fantasize, or, or at least a deep soulmate relationship, because there's a very strong psychic connection here. And I feel like with you guys marry each other, which is one of your issues, is that you're kind of fantasizing about them, you know, telling them you love them in your head, maybe dreaming about them, maybe thinking about what you would say to them. But it's like they pick up on that energy and then they do the same and vice versa. So it's like you guys are feeding off of each other's energy and you know what I mean? So it's like you fantasize and you're kind of like in this hermit, this kind of hermit introverted mode. Where, where you're thinking about them and you're missing them, but you're not verbalizing it. So they're sort of just matching your energy and doing the same thing. It doesn't mean that it's intentional. It just means the kind of bond that you guys have, you pick up on each other's energy. So if you're in a state of inaction, they're also going to be in a state of inaction, if that makes sense. You know, and I feel like... I feel like they just kind of think that you should know that they love you. And I think you think the same thing. You know what I mean? Like they think that you should, it should just be obvious that they love you even if they haven't said it. Um, and they think the same thing about you. Like, you know, you should know that, that they, that you love them if, even if you haven't said it, you know, and it's like, you guys are, you guys are just picking up in that energy and you kind of have to, I don't know how you would get off that roller coaster, but maybe, um, there just needs to be a breakthrough here. Cause it's like, I just kind of see it being repetitive because it's, I mean, there's, they're, they're, in the, they're in this energy deeper than they were a couple of weeks ago, but it is sort of the same energy that they were in when I did this reading on the first where they were, you know, overthinking and wanting to message. And I feel like that's part of the issue is that they just sort of get stuck in their head about you and they fantasize and dream about you. And it's almost like they're, this person is very passionate and creative and introverted. And so it's like they can kind of just live in their head like that. They can kind of just live in this fantasy world that they created with you know, where you guys are all happy and everything's good. And that's the problem. They need to break out of that fantasy world, break free from that overthinking so they can actually, you know, have this relationship with you. And that's kind of what it's saying about there, there was like a creative block here too. It's like, it's maybe that, that, that creativity is what's blocking the connection is it's like, they're just in their head about you instead of making it physical. Um, I sense, you know, it was six of wands. I sense some like, I don't know. I don't know if regret is the right word. Almost like embarrassment. It's like they want to talk to you, but they're, there's like a sense of like shame. Like, I don't know if they did something wrong and they know that they need to apologize, but they've got too much pride to apologize. There's just this sense of like, like a scared little puppy kind of energy where it's like they want to talk, but they, 
they're just very awkward. They're very shy around you. They're, they're not sure what to say. They're not sure how you feel. They're really confusing themselves and overthinking this right now. Six of Wands, too, I feel like this is like their, their resolve to um, to fight for you. But Six of Wands, it's like Six of Wands upright would be, you know, being in the public eye, like making this obvious. And, you know, reverse is just kind of that energy we we're just talking about where it's like they just they think all these things in their head. They have these conversations with you in their head and they don't know how to actually verbalize it. It's like they probably they probably write messages out to you. And then they delete them because that's this kind of overthinking energy where it's like they, they probably start, they probably go to start writing like a message out to you or something. And then they just, it's like they're scared or they're shy. I don't know. Did you guys never, like maybe for some of you, you didn't have that kind of connection yet, but they wanted it to go there, but it didn't. And maybe circumstances changed and now they're wanting to come back in and see if they can have that chance. But it's almost like they're just, they're scared and they're shy and they're afraid of rejection. No, because six of wands, it's like reverse. It's like it's not wanting to be in the public eye. It's like they're kind of hiding. So it's like they write these messages out and then they think like, that's too intense. I can't be that emotional or you know, the opposite. Like, oh, I shouldn't just say, hey, how are you doing when, you know, so much time has gone by. Maybe I need to like apologize or maybe I need to like they don't know how to read you. Like they're really trying to figure out what you're about and how to read you. And they're you're they're baffled about like who you are and what's going on with you and whatever else like they have no idea so so yeah I think they write these messages out and then they just they just stare at it and they just get stuck and they're they overanalyze it and they're like that's too intense that's not intense enough that's too clingy that's that's too distant that's too this too that and then they just delete it because they stress themselves out and gives them they give themselves an anxiety attack almost and then they're like okay I don't know what to say and then they retreat and go back in their head and just like fantasize and dream about you. And then you do that too. So you guys are mirroring each other and picking up on each other's energy. So it's like you're both just dreaming about each other. But neither of you are taking actions to make this, you know, physical. You know, you're planting these seeds and dreaming. But it's like when it comes down to it and it's like real face to face right in the physical. It's like almost like it scares both of you a little bit. Um, so yeah, there's that hermit energy. This, this, this hermit energy where it's like kind of stuck a little bit <laughs> clubs party social life could be someone you know from a club could be I also see it as like social media publicity it's kind of telling you like you guys have to break free from this cycle you're in where you're like not talking or you're talking but it's like casual because you can feel that energy you know that there's a lot that they're just dying to say to you and you feel the same way where there's a lot you're dying to say to them so it's almost like you guys need to like let go of the pride and stubbornness and like talk you know you need to have like a conversation or you need to have yes open honest communication message <laughs> yeah see choosing their words wisely planning their approach they're wanting to message they just have no idea what to say they're confusing themselves they're they're confusing themselves they're keeping themselves stuck in their head they're just going around and around in circles not knowing what to say and this looks like this could be a potential life partner true love potential life partner fast moving energy chaos fast moving energy sudden turn of events so this message could come in quick for some of you because i think you feel it like i think that you can kind of channel them because you have a strong psychic connection with them. So I think maybe you're like you're having dreams about them or you're channeling them and like you can kind of feel that energy of like, like when they write out a message to you and they delete it, I think that you can feel it to be honest. You might be picking up on each other sexually as well. Um, but I also, I just get something about like the, the, when they're thinking about you really strongly, you can feel it and you're thinking about them too. Like I feel like, I just feel like when they when they're really in their head and they're like writing a message out to you and they overthink it and delete it, I think that you feel it. Like you feel it in your heart chakra or you feel like a sense of happiness or you start thinking about them out of nowhere or you feel that connection or you feel like, you know, today's the day we're going to talk. There's something there where you're feeling that that energy and that emotion from them. And it's like a roller coaster for you almost where you're like you get so excited and you're like, okay, it's coming today. They're going to message and then they don't. 
or like, you know what I mean? It's, it's like that kind of energy or they do. And then they just say something kind of light, like, Hey, how's your day? And you're like, really, that's it. Like, cause you're feeling that energy of them wanting to confess their love for you, wanting to open up to you. Um, and they're choosing, you know, you got to choose a path too. Cause you might have two, you might have two potential life partners here too, as well. Red flags. What's that about? What are the red flags about? Nostalgia, longing. Oops. Can we see that? <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's just this pattern you're in with this person that's kind of gotten toxic. So it's like you guys aren't really moving. It's like you're not moving on from each other, but you're not together either. And it's almost like you need to figure it out. Like, be together or don't be together. But you guys can't wait for each other your entire lives. You know what I mean? It's like you're stuck in this dreamlike, nostalgic, romantic energy, which can be beautiful. But... It's like not beautiful when it's ruining your life and you're just constantly having your life on hold because you guys are both mirroring each other and waiting for each other to make, waiting for the other person to make a move, waiting for something to happen. You know, you're stuck in this energy. So it's almost like choose, like you guys need to do this now or you need to go separate ways. You need to stop going around this merry-go-round with each other though. Um, I hope that resonates. And I do private readings, so if you want me to look more in depth into your situation, just email me. I have some good specials going on right now. Uh, please subscribe if this resonates as well. You know, like, share me out. Um, and any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. Um, so thank you for watching.